So it's 6.42 p.m. on the first Saturday of August. I'm home. I just put on my pajamas. I've already had two showers today because it has been a whole something of a day. And I'm going to tell you all about it. I live in a small town in Western Kentucky and every year on the first Saturday of August, my husband's family goes to something called the Fancy Farm Picnic. You can Google it and I'm sure it will come up with all the history and all the facts, but it is a huge picnic. There's food, there's country cooking, there's kids games, ice cream, burgers. It's become a hub for a huge political rally. There's bingo, there's raffles, there's all these things. And Randy used to go when he was a little boy. His family goes every single year. And I, when Randy and I used to date when we were in high school, I remember going to the Fancy Farm picnic with him once or twice. But you know, that has been forever and a day ago. And I have not been since I've been an adult. So every year when the Fancy Farm picnic rolls around, of course, I never get to go because when I owned my ice cream shop, I was always working on a Saturday and Randy never wanted to go without me. So fast forward to this summer, I no longer own my ice cream shop. And one of the main reasons I decided to sell my shop was so that I could spend more time with family, with my husband, with my friends, with the people that I love, doing things and making memories. And the Fancy Farm picnic was one of the number one things on my list that I wanted to do with Randy's family. And so that is what we did today. But this day took a curveball the minute we woke up, actually before we woke up this morning, at about 4 a.m., we had torrential thunderstorms thunder, lightning, massive downpours. A lot of the roads got flooded. And so when I woke up and realized the huge amount of rain we were getting, like, I wonder if we're gonna call off this picnic. Like, how in the world are they gonna have this picnic with all this rain? But we looked at the weather. It showed that about 10 o'clock, the rain was gonna be gone. We weren't supposed to leave home until noon. We had about a 30 minute drive to Fancy Farm and it would all be just fine. We're supposed to meet all of the family there at 12.30. So we're up around the house, milling around, and the rain is not stopping. It is just not letting up. It is pitch black and it's 10 o'clock in the morning. Randy turned on our fireplace because it felt like winter time. It's so weird. It's August, it's supposed to be 100 degrees, but it was cool and pouring down rain and we had a fire going. Finally, sure enough, about 11 o'clock or so, the rain started to dwindle. So we got dressed. I knew it was gonna be really hot, put on a tank top and shorts and we headed off to Fancy Farm. So Randy heard on the news earlier this week that the Fancy Farm picnic was having a huge celebration this year. It is the 100 and 43rd annual Fancy Farm Picnic. Randy told me he heard that on the news and I just, once that sunk in, I said, are you kidding me? 143 years? So I asked Alexa in my bedroom, what year would it be 143 years ago? This picnic started in 1880. 1880, they had been having this same picnic. And my mother and father-in-law have been going to this picnic for over 80 years. And after doing a little more research, I found out that this Fancy Farm picnic is one of the longest running annual picnics in the United States. Crazy. And that's where we were headed. So we get to the picnic. We're trying to find a place to park. It's in a little teeny, 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 teeny small town. The roads are only this wide. There's no parking. There's, you know, everybody's parking in church parking lots and Dollar Generals and along the sides of the streets. There was a little baseball field that had a big grassy area that was completely saturated. A total mud pit. And that's where my husband decides to park. He's driving a big truck. It's fine. We're not going to get stuck. We parked in a muddy field and we headed off into the picnic. So we get there. We find my sister-in-laws and my mother-in-law, my father-in-law, and we're just dying to play bingo. So we get set down. We play a little bit of bingo, about an hour's worth of bingo. See a lot of people I know. Everybody's chatting and having a good time. The sun is out and it is scorching. Thank goodness we were in a little bit of shade under this pavilion where they do bingo because otherwise I think I would have died. So at two o'clock, the time that we're heading down to eat in the cafeteria, this is when all of the political rallies start. 
the candidates running for the governor of Kentucky. Fancy Farm is known for its political rallies and people are standing all around this pavilion holding signs and chanting and wearing candidate shirts and buttons and hats and flags and the candidates are giving speeches underneath this pavilion and oh my goodness, it was a whole something. And I gotta be honest, I don't give a hoot about politics. I didn't wanna listen to anything they had to say, but we had to walk past all of this to get down to the cafeteria. So. It was a whole something just seeing this. At two o'clock, we went down to the church cafeteria. There is a huge country cooking spread. So we went in there, there was fried chicken, barbecue, mutton, corn on the cob, potato salad, tomato slices, thunder and lightning, green beans, and a gigantic, oh, oh coleslaw, and a gigantic table of a huge assortment of desserts. I got a little bit of everything, and then when I got to the dessert table, of course, I, I, I could not decide what I wanted, so I got a peanut butter pie and a piece of chess pie. So Randy's behind me in the line. It was like serve yourself buffet. He picks up a slice of a tomato, drops it. It splatters all over his shorts, falls on his feet, because he's wearing flip-flops, and it splatters all over the floor. So the lady has to come over, clean up tomato, right out of the gate, Randy is covered in tomato juice. So we eat, our bellies are full, and we decided to sit back down and play bingo with my mother-in-law because this is the reason that we went to the Fancy Farm picnic is for the bingo. So when you play bingo at Fancy Farm, they have these old school, probably 70 year old bingo, bingo cards. No joke, it's not high tech bingo. You don't use these little stamper things. You play on these bingo cards that have these little windows that you open and shut when they call out a number that's on your bingo card. It's $2 to have three bingo cards. And we played over and 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 over. Randy and I were playing the three cards together. We spent, I don't know, 45, 50 bucks, something like that. Never did bingo. Randy's mother didn't bingo. No one in our family bingoed and everybody around us is bingoing like bananas. But we never did bingo, but I saw so many people I knew. I saw the guy who bought my ice cream shop. He was there sitting behind me playing bingo with his mother. I saw a girl who used to work for me at the ice cream shop. I saw customers from the ice cream shop, people I went to school with, family members, Randy saw friends. And at one point my mother-in-law pulled me over and she said, how is it that you know so many people at the Fancy Farm Picnic and you have never ever been here and I have lived here my whole life and I don't know anybody? And she's laughing, we're laughing, we had a really good time and it's true. I saw so many people that I knew, it's crazy. So the big story in the family is my mother and father-in-law plant a huge garden every year and they grow a ton of tomatoes. My mother-in-law has a little stand out by the side of her house and she fills it with tomatoes and it's an honor system. Anybody can pull up. She has a scale there. You can weigh your tomatoes. It's a dollar a pound and you put your dollar in an old coffee jar. And the money that she makes from selling her tomatoes is what she uses to play bingo. So my mother-in-law has all of these $1 bills. She told me to come prepared, bring $1 bills so that I can sit and play bingo with her. And that's what I did. I had $100 of $1 bills in my little crossbody purse. And my mother-in-law's saying is, she always runs out of ass before she runs out of bingo money. Meaning she sits there so long, her butt hurts that she has to give up bingo before she runs out of money. And I didn't understand that saying. Well, I knew what she meant, but I didn't get it until today because three hours in, I was out of ass. I was totally out of ass. We even took beach towels to sit on the benches so that we wouldn't run out of ass, but we ran out of ass and I, we had to call it quit. Remember I told you we parked in a big muddy field and my husband drove his truck to the fancy farm picnic? Well, this is what we walked up to. This is my husband's truck. Am I going to be going through the car ward? Oh, shit! <laughs> uh, yeah. I guess whenever they came through here, they just sunk and spun it. Uh-huh. I, I mean, oh my God. Okay. Okay, the... Do you think that helped? 
pack. That mud was this thick. Oh my word. So I was standing in mud trying to get in the truck. Do you know what my husband did? He was in the truck, turned on his windshield wiper fluid, turned on his windshield wipers to clean off the windshield. And what do you think that did to me who was standing beside the truck? Flung mud all over me, all over my clothes, all over my glasses, and in my hair. Mud. After I regained my composure, I basically just ran and jumped head first into the truck, took my shoes off, laid them upside down so they would dry out because I didn't want to get his floorboard muddy because you don't understand, my husband is a freak, fanatic, clean freak about his truck. He will wash that truck every single day. He pays for an unlimited car wash pass to the local car wash just so that he can wash his truck every day. As soon as we get in the truck, Randy pulls up his GPS looking for the closest car wash. We are in the middle of this little town. There is no car wash. So he brings me home, drops me off, and immediately goes straight to the car wash. I came in and got in the shower because I was just sticky and stinky and all of my clothes were just covered in mud. So that brings me to this moment. I'm sitting here in my pajamas waiting for Randy to get home from washing his truck. Now another thunderstorm is hitting us. It is starting to pour down rain and my husband is out washing that truck. I bet he is having a coming apart because even though his truck is clean, if it gets wet, he's going to have to go back and wash the truck. I played bingo, I ate the things, I had the fun, I had a great time with my family, and I'm out of ass. See you later.